Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over solving systems of linear equations by substitution. And because I'm currently teaching math in Berlin, Germany, I put down that this is also known in German as the Einsatzungsverfahren or the substitution method. Okay, here we go. We have two linear equations. This is one linear equation. This is the other linear equation. We are going to solve these two linear equations. And what we mean by that is we are going to find the single pair of x and y coordinates that are a solution to this equation and also a solution to this equation. And because the this is the equation of a line and this is the equation of a line, that single pair of x and y coordinates will also be the point where these two lines cross each other. Now we are going to do this by the substitution method. With the substitution method, I like to write down one equation. I like to write down another equation. I draw a line under the two equations, and I'm going to solve one of the these two equations. This is really the first step. Solve one of these two equations, it doesn't matter which one, for either x or y, it doesn't matter which one. Now you will notice in the first equation, we have simply an x right here x minus 2y plus 15. So the easiest thing to do in this case would be to solve this equation for x. So I'm just going to write this equation down. I'm going to solve this equation for x. I have x minus 2y. I'm going to add 2y to both sides. That will bring this 2y over to the other side. Add 2y to both sides. And you can see we now have x equals 2y plus 15. The first step is to solve one of the equations for either x or y. We chose to solve this equation for x, and we have x equals 2y plus 15. Now we're going to do the substitution part of the substitution method. We are going to substitute this x value, which is 2y plus 15, into the other equation for the x value. We're going to take the x out, and in place of that, we're going to substitute 2y plus 15. So let's do that. You can see I wrote down 2x. Well, x is 2y plus 15. So of course, I wrote 2 times 2y plus 15. Remember, we have 3y. You got to write that down equals 2. Now we can go ahead and substitute. Excuse me. Now we can go ahead and simplify this equation and solve for y. 2 times 2y is 4y. 2 times 15, we're going to distribute the 2 through this, is 30, and then we have 3y equals 2. We're going to add our like, or combine our like terms. We have 4y and 3y. That is 7y plus 30 equals 2. Now we have plus 30. We want to move that to the other side because we want to solve for y. We're going to add minus 30 to both sides. We add minus 30. We have 7y on the left plus 30 and minus 30 is 0, and we have equals 2 plus minus 30, which is equal to minus 28. Divide both of those by 7, and you get y equals minus 4. Now, you can see we have the y value is minus 4, but we need the corresponding x value. We are going to take this y value, and we can substitute it into either of these two equations and solve for x. It doesn't matter which equation you substitute into, you'll get the same answer for x. I chose to use the first equation. I'm going to write it down right here. I'm going to substitute in x minus 2y. We now know y is minus 4, so I substitute that in. Equals 15. That means x plus 8 because minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8. Equals 15. I'm going to add minus 8 to both sides. When I do that, I get that x equals 7 because 15 plus minus 8 is 7. Now I have found my x value and my y value. That means that that point, that x value and that y value, hopefully is a solution to this equation and to this equation. And it's also the point where these two lines intersect each other. Now, I'm pretty sure that's right, but I did say hopefully, and I'm going to confirm that that's right by checking. I'm going to check my values. This is the solution I had from the previous slide, x7, y minus 4. These are my two original equations. I'm going to substitute these x and y, this x and y value in for each of the equations, and I should have this equal sign hold true. So this side needs to be 15, and this side needs to be 15. 
let's see if we substitute in x7 minus 2 times y, y is minus 4, simplify, 7 plus 8 is 15, and indeed 15 equals 15. Now I'm going to check it with the other equation, substitute the x and the y value into that equation, and you, you get 2 equals 2. That confirms that yes, this point is a solution for this equation, this point is also a solution for this equation, and that tells me that that point lies on both lines, and that is the point where those two lines intersect. Let's go on to our second example. Once again, we have two linear equations. I wrote them down, I placed a line underneath them, gives me a moment to think. I think what I'm going to do in this one, I'm going to solve because here I have a lone x and a lone y. We solved the other one for x in the previous example. Let's solve this equation for y. We get that minus x minus y equals minus 9. That's our equation we had over here. I simply wrote it down again. To solve for y, I need to move the x term to the other side. I have minus x, so I'm going to add x to both sides, and that gives me minus y equals x minus 9. I want to solve for x or y, not minus y, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply in order to get rid of this minus sign. I'm going to multiply the whole equation by minus 1. When I do that, all I'm really doing is um, changing the sign for each term. So I have y minus y becomes positive y, positive x becomes minus x, and minus 9 becomes positive 9. All I'm doing is distributing this minus 1 through each of these three terms. Now I know that y equals minus x plus 9. I took this equation and I solved it for y. Now I can take this y value and substitute it into the other equation right there where I have 2y. So I'm going to write that down. I have 5x plus 2y. I know y is minus x plus 9. And then I have equals 21. I'm going to simplify 5x again. I'm going to distribute the 2 through the y value, which is minus x plus 9. 2 times minus x is minus 2x. 2 times 9 is 18 equals 21. I'm going to combine my like terms. I get 3x plus 18 equals 21. I want to solve for the x. I need to move the 18 to the other side. I'm going to add negative 18 to both sides. Then I get 3x, because again, this goes to 0, equals 3, and I divide both sides by 3, and I get that x equals 1. So once again, I have the x value, or I have one of the terms. I need to find the other term. I'm going to find y. I'm going to use this equation, simply substitute this 1 in for the x value. So I have 5 times x or 5 times 1 plus 2y equals 21. 5 times 1 is 5. I'm now going to move the y value, excuse me, not the y value, I'm going to move the 5 over to the other side. So I'm going to add minus 5 to both sides, and that leaves me with 2y equals 16 because 5 plus, no, excuse me, 21 plus minus 5 is 16. Divide both sides by 2 and y equals 8. Once again, I have found the point, the single pair of x and y coordinates, 1, 8, that are a solution for this equation and for this linear equation, and that is the point where those two lines intersect. Am I sure? Well, let's just check it again. I have both my original equations, my solution from the previous slide. I'm going to substitute each of those values in for x and y in both equations. You can see on the left side it's true, 21 equals 21, and I have minus 1 minus 8 equals minus 9, and minus 9 equals minus 9. So that tells me that this equation, is this, this point, is the solution for this equation and this equation, and that is the point where those two lines intersect. Okay, one more example. Now this one is a little trickier. I write the first equation down, I write the second equation down, I draw a line underneath it gives me a time to think. I know I'm going to use the substitution method. I want to solve one of these equations for either x or for y. Now, I notice this bottom equation, I have 3, 9, and 18 as my coefficients. 
I know that each of those values is divisible by 3, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation for x, and I'm going to do that first. Well, at the end, I'm going to divide each of these terms by 3, and then I'll end up with x, and then I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to take this equation, write it down over here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 9y to the other side, so I'm going to add 9y to both sides. That gives me 3x equals 9y minus 18. Once again, the minus 9, the plus 9y go to 0. Now I want to solve this equation for x. I'm going to divide this term, this term, and this term by 3. If I do that, then I get that x plus 3y, excuse me, x equals 3y minus 6. Now, I can take this x value and substitute it into the other equation. I started with this equation, so I'm going to substitute it in right here for this x value. That means that 5 times 3y minus 6, because it's 5 times x, x I know is 3y minus 6, plus 4y equals minus 30. Distribute the 5 through, 15y minus 30 plus 4y equals minus 30. I'm going to combine my like terms. 15y and 4y gives me 19y minus 30 equals minus 30. I'm going to move this minus 30 to the other side because I want to solve for y. So I'm going to add 30 to both sides. That gives me 19y equals 0 because minus 30 plus 30 equals 0, and that's all right because I'm going to divide both sides by 19, and that gives me y equals 0 because 0 divided by any number is 0. Okay, now we know the y value is 0. Now we can find the x value. We're going to substitute that y value into one of our equations. We're going to use this first equation, 5x plus 4y equals minus 30. That means 5x plus 2 times 0 equals minus 30. That means that 5x equals minus 30 because 2 times 0 is 0. I divide both sides by 5, and I get that x equals minus 6. Once again, I have my single point minus 6, 0. That is a solution to this equation and this equation. This point lies on this line. This point lies on this line. That means that this point, minus 6, 0, is the point where these two lines intersect. Now, I'm not going to go through the full check, but let's just kind of check it ourselves really quick. In each case, y is 0 and x is minus 6. 4 times 0 is 0. 5 times minus 6 is minus 30, and minus 30 equals minus 30. Again, 9 times 0 is 9, or minus 9 times 0 is 9. Excuse me, minus 9 times 0 is 0. 6 times minus, excuse me, 6. 3 times minus 6 is minus 18, and minus 18 equals minus 18. There you have it. That is how you solve systems of linear equations using the substitution method. Solve either of the equations first for either x or or why. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you found it helpful, you can do all the following three things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and now math videos. Give me a nice thumbs up for this video or give me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.